I'm 39 years old, so I'm over 25 and I hit the wall already. I'm educated. I'm masculine. I'm a strong black woman who don't need no man, right? I'm literally all of these things. Yeah. I'm not having anybody's baby. I'm not finna be somebody's wife, AKA slave, right? I'm not finna clock out of my job and then come home to a second job of being a wife and a mother. See guys, this is the type of woman that you don't want to get married. This is the type of woman that you want to avoid. You don't want to date this woman. You want to run from this woman. Stay tuned. What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That will let you know every time I upload content. You know what we're going to do first things first. What are we going to do? We're going to roll that clip. I'm telling you this from the gate. And y'all are still bothering me. You're still in my comment sections of my videos. You're still in my DMs. And for those who don't know this, the vast majority of the men that are in our DMs, women like me, are married. Right. Y'all's husbands, right? But the thing that I don't understand about the rest of you guys is you guys say you want these submissive as women, right? You want these dumb as a box of rocks, uh, no goals, no ambition, somebody that's gonna be traditional and stay at home type of women why don't y'all just go bother them what do we have to do to get y'all to go away fellas i want you to comment and answer this question why is it that there's always a unmarried bitter black woman that always equates marriage to slavery where is it that marriage is slavery i did a whole live stream called marriage is marriage slavery and a lot of women they were never taught how to be a wife from their mother there's always a woman somewhere that's like i'm not gonna be a slave i'm not gonna be a mom i'm not gonna be a stay-at-home wife but yet you would rather go outside and pay significant bill and work hard just so you can be a man. And then you wonder why you're masculine. You wonder why you're upset. You wonder why you're angry. You wonder why you're bitter. You wonder why did you can't get a man? Because a man doesn't want a masculine woman. And what women don't understand about the rejection of marriage is that you are rejecting the very thing that will save you in life. Married women live happier lives than single unmarried women. Talk to married women if you don't believe me. There are women out here that are married, that are happy, and they're not slaves. Stop telling younger women that marriage is slavery because it's not. You want to know what is slavery? Going to a nine to five, working every day, coming home. There's no one in that house but you, and you're sad, lonely, and miserable. And instead of you finding a man, you want to find an excuse not to have one. That's slavery. Stop telling people that marriage is slavery because it's not. Modern women need to stop that buffoonery. See, this is a woman that is totally in denial. This is a woman that's in denial because she knows that she's not getting picked. Now, I want you to pay very close attention to what I am about to say. This is what women do to gaslight men. They want to make it seem like they're a victim. You're a victim. Mm. All these men need to leave me alone. 
all of these men, all of the, and they all have the same M.O. You're a victim. Mm. They're trying to make it seem like these men are just flooding in their inbox. And they're not doing anything. No, ma'am. Nobody's in your inbox. Nobody's checking for you. You have made it clear that you are a modern woman. You've hit the wall. You don't want to get married. You don't want to have children. You don't want to submit to a man's leadership. There's only two things for you to do. Die single or buy a cat. That's it. And then when people say that to you on your page, you get upset. This is the life that you chose. This is what men are talking about. We don't mind providing a life for you, but you have to be worthy and worth it for us to invest that type of money and resources into a woman. So what we're saying is this. This is what we're saying. You made the choice to not get married, to not have children, to not have a family, to just be single. Don't get mad at the world because nobody agrees with you. And if you go to this lady's TikToks and read the comments, there's always a bunch of delusional women that agree. And there is a bunch of great masculine men that disagree. And I noticed that and a lot of people will say, this is a skit. I get that. We have to understand that skits are part of life. Even though it's a skit, even though it's being used for attention. Read the comments. It's just like going to a restaurant. You read the reviews before you go. And women agree with other modern women. Case in point, let's look at exhibit two. Roll that clip. When y'all tell women to choose better, sometimes choosing better is choosing ourselves. Why don't y'all realize that? I'm legally blind, I can see, barely. Y'all are literally gonna run out of women to tell that to. Stop it. Get some help. I feel like y'all, if you haven't completely run out of women to tell that to, you're on the brink. Like, we're like, what, probably 20,000 women away from telling that to <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Choose better. Choose better. You need to choose. You need to choose. choose better. Like, you told everybody already. So the problem is y'all at the end of the day. <laughs> How many more women are y'all going to tell this to before y'all have to turn the mirror back to yourselves? Choosing better for women means not choosing men at all. You get nothing. You lose. You see here, see, women don't get it. Let me break this down for the women. Because I know women watch this channel. They may or may not comment. Hit that like and subscribe button if you're a woman watching this video. We don't tell women to choose better. We tell women to choose better based on their own decisions. We're not just going around meeting random women on the internet telling them to choose better. It's always a baby mama with five kids, four kids, three kids, a bunch of kids, a delusional modern woman, that wants a man to pay for her date. It's always one of those things. And then we get attacked as a man by saying, you know what? You need to choose better. It's almost like a woman hearing choose better is an insult. It's like calling them the B word or calling a woman a female. We don't tell you to do better just for our 
compelled. We tell you to do better because we're looking out for you. We're trying to get you to understand that your choices aren't going to give you the best possible outcome. We care about you so much that we are willing to correct you. Modern women hate correction. That's what it boils down to. If you tell a modern woman, hey, don't do that. Don't do this. Do better. Make better choices. Don't have a baby before you're married. A woman will look at you like you're a dragon with ten heads. They'll give you the deer in headlights look. They'll look at you like you cussed them out. But women today have zero accountability, zero morals, zero standards. They do not care. They don't even care about themselves. All they care about is getting a man's money and milking him dry. That's what modern women want. They don't want to be corrected. They don't want to be treated equally. They don't want to be accepted. What they want is they want a man's money. That is what they want. And if they can get that man's money, more power to you. Matter of fact, I'm going to be going live this Wednesday night, 6.30 p.m. on the topic of modern women just want men's money. So don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload new content. And until the next video, peace.